So this past weekend, we were out for Jacob's birthday. And we were having a, uh, a really good time. We w- all went to dinner. It was me and Jacob is my middle son. My youngest son, Luke, was there in Chelsea. So it was the four of us eating dinner. And we went to a restaurant that we've been to numerous times. And we've gone there so much that the waiter that uh, we had was Greg. He's a guy that we've known for a long time. He's awesome. I love the guy. Biggest Lions fan in the world. All this guy ever wants to do is talk football. And he had, like, theories on the Lions and their draft picks and all the rest of this. But I did something that I caught myself doing, and I said to my family when when Greg the waiter walked away from the table, and Jacob says, I do this all the time. So Greg came over to the table, and I reached out to shake his hand, and I winked at him. <laughs> and, You're a winker? What? And then... I found myself doing the lingering hard handshake too at the same time. Okay. And as soon as I got done doing it, you know, and I noticed that Greg was like, oh, I got, got to go to the kitchen and get something. Greg kind of like seemed a little awkward by the whole thing. I said, guys, I just did something really crazy. I winked at Greg and I gave him the lingering handshake. And Jacob says, yeah, you do that wink and handshake thing a lot with people. And I said, what are you talking about? I don't ever remember myself ever being a winker. And I know that I... You're a bad I, winker, too. I'm a horrible winker. I did the whole... Like the whole... Your whole face moves. I had my wink. contacts in, so I didn't have my glasses on. So it's hard for me that to wink like, when I have that. Oh, yeah. So I did this I did this whole thing I did. I had the hands. It looks like you're having like a... <laughs> I did a... <laughs> and and you. You, you, Spike, and Mike, you know this with guys... There are certain guys that will give firm, lingering handshakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And sometimes they'll try to bring you in. Yeah. Well, I was sitting guys, down, so I contest. couldn't do that. It's not a contest. It's not who can be the strongest yeah. handshaker. Oh, my God. And I, I, people and I found myself doing it to a point that I thought it was just so weird that I had to point it out to my family. But for Jacob to say, yeah, Dad, you do that a lot. Have I ever... Do I ever do that? Have I done that to any of you guys? No. No. Uh-uh. Any they listeners? Really are there yeah, any listeners that I've listeners. are there any listeners that I've winked at or or given the lingering handshake to? If if I have, I apologize, but please let me know because <laughs> according to my son, he has no reason to lie. He says I do this well, a lot. We wouldn't notice. You've known us a long time, but when you meet people for the first time, sometimes you go into public person, political man, like <laughs> yeah. like when someone's meeting, you're just trying to be nice and friendly, and maybe you think, the maybe the wink is subconscious, you don't even realize you're doing it. That's what I'm wondering. I'm, at yeah. no time, at no time ever, do you do you need to wink at somebody in a handshake, unless right. there's something right. shifty going yeah, on. Yeah, like, why the wink? The handshake? All right. Acceptable. But the wink. I felt so weird. I didn't know that I did it. I did the wink. And it's funny because... Winking anymore is just really creeps me out. There are some people... I'm serious. In all situations. Can I tell you something? Some people, like British people, can wink. You know? If a British person should wink at you... No, the only time it's acceptable is if it's like a really, really old man. Then I think it's cute. Really? Okay. Old men? Yeah, like you're 90. Okay. What What if you got winked at by a guy that was, you know... A good looking guy in a suit and he was like well dressed with a little bit of honestly a little bit like of salt I... and pepper hair. <laughs> you no, know? No wink. No wink? No okay. Wink. All right. No wink. No. I uh I, I've never done this before, I I think. What, what what's oh, hello, who is this? This is Victor. Hi Victor, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? What's happening? It's Mojo in the morning. Have I ever winked at you? Not only did you wink at me. You touched my butt. <laughs> You're so full of it now. <laughs> Who are you, and why are you calling? No, no, here? just just met you on a meet and greet. It, it must have been an accidental brush, but my girlfriend got a good kick out of it. And oh, said really? That, Wait, uh, you're saying the truth? I not only winked at you, but I actually played grab ass with me, you? You gave me the lingering wink, and then I turned and walked away. You turned and walked away, and my girlfriend said, oh, he just touched your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't buy that. They might talk about well, sexuality. I thought it was about... a thing. I thought it was a thing. I guess wow. Like, oh, how did for it God happen? Sakes. Was it a graze or was it like he patted you like an NFL player? Your Honor, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it was a graze. I'll, I'll give right. him the better. A graze. That's funny. That I, don't think, I don't think we're all the way there yet. But the oh. wink was obvious. You, you didn't. You couldn't mistake yeah. that. I did the wink. I did. It, you did handshake and you did. There was a lingering week. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. Vic- I just figured you were a nice guy. Victor, I apologize to you then. I, I really do. No Mike. 
Mike, good. what were you going to say, Mike? I bet they have Christmases and Thanksgivings where they're like, hey, I got to tell you a story. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You know that yeah. guy on the radio? Yeah. yeah. He winked and grabbed my butt. <laughs> you think that this happens? Oh, it's yeah. like somebody gets, somebody's sitting there and it's like, oh, what are you listening to? Oh, I'm listening to, to radio. Oh, what are you listening to? Mojo in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, the guy that grabbed my ass and winked at me? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. Nicole, are you there, Nicole? I am. Morning, everybody. Good morning, oh, Good morning Nicole. Nicole. No, Nicole, don't tell me I winked at you. No, listen, I was just telling Ellen, you get the pass to wink because you're mojo. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You know. So Nicole. You can wink, but if you was just mojo on the block and you ain't had no show, then it'd be creepy. Really? <laughs> so, hey, Nicole, do you think that I should do with the wink? Should I do the little, like, gunshot things? Like, you know how people do that all the time? They go, no. hey. No, 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 no. Pow, 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 pow. Then you're giving off, you're giving you. off corny white ass. And you're, <laughs> corny uh, all right. you're exactly right, because I don't know, you know, Detroit <laughs> listeners will remember Chuck Gatica, who was on TV. I love with, Chuck. Uh, He's on the Blue Cross Blue Shield commercials yeah, now. He is a winker. I want to sit, on his, I wanna sit on his blue couch with him. Yeah, but he comes off as charming. He's like, he's kind of corny, yeah, but he's, he's so charming. friendly. Oh. You know, he still got his hair black and you know it's gray. So it's it looks fine. Yeah. By the way, well, maybe that's on. Mojo too. 734. 734 says that Mojo once blew a kiss at me. I do not. I blew a kiss like a... Like one of those hey, times? They about to meet they about to meet too, you mojo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You guys, I was driving through downtown Clarkston on Sunday, and as I'm pulling into a, a street parking space, a dude on a Harley's going the other way. And as he passes me, he must see me through the window and he yells, Spike! Like he just recognized as a listener, he recognized me. I waved out the window, but for some reason, I waved and did the most toodles, toodles, like, where you you wiggle your fingers, it's, uh, when you wave. I missed out. I was like, hey, did, yeah, it was Mrs. Doubtfire, and it was not a wave you do to a guy on a Harley. What's that, what's that, Nicole? Spike, did you do the jazz hands with your wife? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I gave a guy with a Harley and a handlebar mustache the jazz hands. <laughs> Hey, he thought you wanted a good time, Spike. <laughs> <laughs>